Hi EC and Kinder students, this is Mr. McBee and I'm just going to make a short video telling you five important things you need to know about your iPad. Number one, keep your case on your iPad at all times. When you're learning, you can use the bottom of the case, mine's a little bit different to yours. To stick your iPad up this way, it can also be stuck up this way, so it's comfortable for you to be learning. If we're looking at our iPad for a lot of time, we need to be comfortable, so make sure you set it on a table Sitting up on the case, comfortable for learning. The case is really strong, it will protect it, but we also need to be careful not to be dropping it or standing on it or anything like that. Number two, there are two main buttons. The button down the bottom, when I press this button, it's called the home button, so it lets me unlock, put in my password. If I press it two times, it shows me all the applications I've been using. And I can press that one more time to make those go away. If I'm in one application and I press the home button down the bottom, it closes the application. Now at the top of my iPad, right up here, there's another button which is for turning the iPad off, the power button. If I press it once, it turns off. And if I hold it down, one, two, three, it says swipe, to power off, slide to power off. So if I do that, it turns my iPad completely, completely off, all the way to sleep. And then I'd need to let it turn it, wake it back up again. So you don't really need to do the swiping, just the button at the top to turn it off. Um, number three, the charger is really important. So with mummy or daddy's help, we need to make sure we plug in our charger to our iPad when we're not using it. So that always has a full battery and we can be inside the Zoom calls and we can do our learning on Seesaw and all of those things. Number four, it's really important that when we're using our iPads, we have clean hands. If my hands have lots of food on them, because I was just eating my lunch, and then I touch my iPad, my iPad gets lots of food on, them, on it. And then the screen gets all dirty and yucky. So we need to make sure we have clean hands when we use the iPad. And while we're talking about food, eating and drinking, we shouldn't eat or drink with the iPad. So if I'm having lunch, the iPad's away on its shelf on my desk and I'm eating my lunch. When I'm finished my lunch, I clean my hands, then I would use my iPad again. So we don't do eating at the same time as learning. Well, with the iPad. And the last one, number five, it's important that we leave this in a safe place. So if I've just finished my call with my class, with my teacher, I shouldn't leave this on the floor where someone might stand on it. I could put it on a shelf or on my bed or on my desk, on a table, but I don't want to leave this on the floor or in the sun where it might get too hot. So putting it away when we're not using it is important. They are our five important things to remember for using our iPads. Keep the case on. We have two main buttons charge it up, clean hands, and don't leave it on the floor. All right, good luck using your iPads this year, EC and Kinder Kids.